Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and what I have today is a Couture Professional dimmable LED lamp for drawing, uh, arts and crafts, even uh, like tattoo artists and stuff like that use this thing. So let's, uh, this is the A4 uh, size, which is the 9 by 12 uh, size. So let's unbox this, but first... I guess we should read over some of the features of it and we'll just read off the box and then we'll go through and actually show some of the features of this uh, light panel which is really cool and I'm excited about this so uh, diversified uses ideal for stenciling 2d animation uh, calligraphy uh, scrapbooking tattoo transferring sketching and drawing sewing projects stained glass quilting and more so it does really honestly have like a huge uh, area for using this thing. You don't really have to be an artist, in, in my opinion, to use it. it. You can use it on all kinds of stuff. You know. It's got a smart touch key with touch memory, and I'll show you about that here in a minute. It's pretty simple. Uh, adjustable brightness, super bright LED lamps provide a perfectly even illuminated surface. You may adjust the light by simply touching the on-off switch. Uh, yeah, it really is an awesome light, but I can't wait to get into this here in just a little bit, but ultra slim with the latest art LED technology. This portable light box is measuring only 10 millimeters thick. Um, this is super portable, but you had to use this as place the LED pad on a dry flat working surface like a desk or whatever, uh, connect to power and use it only when the cord is fully unwound. Uh, touch the switch gently and the working panel will light up gradually. Uh, stop touching the switch when the brightness fits your need. Light pad will be turned off when the brightness reaches its maximum level. So, uh, yeah, so let's get started. Lifespan 50,000 hours. That's the beauty of LEDs. Like, I'm a huge LED supporter. Right now, I use the lighting for my videos with uh, fluorescence and stuff, but uh the next step for me once these burn out or our light shoots is switch over to led because they're just so economical and uh, uh they don't they don't get hot this doesn't get hot uh, they don't use hardly any power they're definitely the route to go uh this is also made out of acrylic the top is so let's get started this is a couture product and uh, i will say couture uh, is really a good brand. They've surprised me. I've done a lot of uh, Couture reviews and stuff, and uh, I, I really like the company a lot. They've probably been the best ones that I've ever had to deal with, uh, and I've done uh, quite a few product reviews for companies, so they've, they've been my favorite. All right, so you come in here, and then you get the, the card that they always supply you with uh, their contact information and stuff if you have any kind of issues, which is pretty cool. It includes something like that. Then we got our cables and power adapter. Uh, it's a little instructions uh, manual there, which we kind of already went over that was on the back of the box. And the inside uh, is covered in this, which protects it from any kind of scratches or anything like that, whatever this stuff's called. And uh, the little foam in, in caps here on the ends. All right, so let's pull this bad boy out. Look at that thing. I think it looks awesome. All right, so I got it plugged in. It basically just plugs right into the side here. And this is a, uh, a mini USB, where uh, most things nowadays use micro, but this is a mini USB. So uh, keep up with the cable, because a lot of people now just kind of has the micro USBs. But not a big deal breaker for me. So let's go over the operations of this thing. And you can gradually, you hold down the power, it will gradually go till it reaches its max brightness. And then you can uh, shut it off again by pushing it again. So basically, you you just hold it down until you get it up to the max brightness that you want. This is max here. It's good uniform solid color, which is nice because you don't see. I mean, it, this looks like uh, just a, a white, bright piece of paper. I mean, it's just a solid thing. And also on the back, you do have a uh, little rubber, uh, little rubberized, little round uh, things there, so it kind of stays really stationary on your desk. Look, I'm going forward with it, and it's not moved a little bit there, but I'm really pushing hard, like really, really hard, like harder than I should be. But anyway, it's real simple operations, like you've got your measurements here across the top and the sides, and then you just kinda, you know, and the, the thing is though, once you push the power button, you gotta keep your finger on it till you get to your desired brightness, because if you put it on there again and hold it, it'll dim back down, and then you can dim it back up again like that. And it'll go back down <laughs> and then back up. Now I'm just curious how many pieces of paper 
this will show through. All right, so you've got, we'll put it up max brightness. Start out with one just sheet. Let's see. So you can, you can totally see right through that, which is nice. These are just standard printer paper. I can see through two on maximum brightness. I can see through three sheets of paper. Now the fourth piece, uh, this is probably the max I would go. So the thickness of paper that you could use, whatever four sheets of standard printer paper are, which is pretty thick, can work on the max brightness of this thing. So now let's take one sheet and kind of, uh, I want to see what the lowest setting, if I'm getting anything through through that. So that's probably the lowest setting and it just went to max when I tapped it. So apparently if you tap it once, it just goes straight to max. So we'll hold our finger down on it, take her all the way down to the lowest setting. And that was the lowest setting. It gets low. It gets really low. We turn this back on again. Okay. So that's about its lowest setting, I think. And I can still see underneath it just fine, but can I see it underneath it anyway? Yeah, this is like it, but this is like with, with the three or four, this is with the fourth sheet kind of by itself there. So when I put this on there, it just brightens it completely up. Uh, and you can really trace off of it, which is cool. It's a really uniform light, like I said earlier. And I'm not complaining at all. You got the Couture logo down here, the power, power button. Uh, power plug pulls in, the adapter goes into the wall, rubber feet on the back, uh, acrylic face on the top. So I really do like this product, and uh, there's nothing I can say bad about it. I think it's going to fulfill your needs. This has been another Isaiah's Reviews. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and share this to all your social sites. That helps get me to places I can't get to on my own, and I really do appreciate that. And I can't wait to see you again here on Isaiah's Reviews.